Welcome to Borghese Masterclass. My name is Alexandra Wonsowska. I am the National Director of Education here for Borghese. And with me, as always, is Adrienne Keller. She's our Director of Marketing, and she is on the chat box. So do follow along with the chat box as well. Um, Adrian will be dropping additional information um, about uh, everything I will be talking about today. Um, she will also answer any and all of your questions if I am unable to get to those questions. But do feel free to use that chat box and drop your questions into the chat box. So today's topics is our summer must haves. So here is a question. Do you feel or do you see changes in your skin as the water, warmer weather approaches? Here on the East Coast, we had beautiful few days already, super hot actually today. Um, I personally already see those changes. But with that said, do you feel necessary to adjust or eliminate steps in your skincare routine for those hot summer days. As we all know, summer comes with heat, humidity, environmental pollution, all of which really may take a toll on our skin. So what do we do to keep that skin clear, calm, but still glowing and still healthy looking? So today we will talk about some do's and don'ts during the hot summer days, how do we take care of that skincare? So don't number one is don't skip on cleansing. Cleansing your skin twice a day is essential. Like I just said, uh, during the day, the skin is going through all of that heat, humidity. There is all production of sebum. Um, oilier skin might, oily skin might, might get oilier drier skin might actually get dehydrated. So choosing a cleanser that is gentle for your skin is going to be essential and a key to keep your skin balanced. It will help to rebalance your skin. My go-to is the Borghese Gel Delicato Gentle Makeup Remover. Well, I'm talking about cleanser. Why, why makeup remover? Why bring up a makeup remover? Our, gen, our gel delicato removes all of the impurities from your skin. It will remove any foundation, tinted moisturizer, but also your waterproof mascara, that stubborn lipstick, especially if that's the one that uh, is a long wear. Well, we all know how hard it is to take that one off and also SPF. Some SPFs um, may be a little heavier, so you need something that will melt off that SPF so you don't go to bed wearing that because we don't need SPF at nighttime. And also a beauty hack, a beauty hack for that I have discovered when uh, I was on the go is that I sometimes was able to use this when I wanted to, when I needed to, I will use this as my face wash. So how do we actually use it? As you all know, I am a big fan of demonstrations. So we will do that today again. Here it comes my little, it's like a mini mouse headband. And we will play on my skin. There we go. <laughs> again, if there are any questions, please drop it up in the chat box, maybe a little bit later um, in the class. So how do we would use this gel delicato? So there is two ways to do that. You can use it with a cotton pad, right? Just dispense liberally. This gel delicato is a very gentle for your skin, oil-free, fragrance-free, dermatology tested, ophthalmologist tested. So it's safe also for those of us who do wear contacts. It also has lavender and comfrey. So it's very soothing for your skin. So as a makeup remover, I like to use it with a cotton pad and then just very gently, I will be removing anything and everything that is on my skin. 
get to those nooks and crannies, right? Like especially around the nose area, do clean around your lips as well. Uh, make sure that T-zone is addressed. Now that is when I'm removing, when I want to remove my makeup. How do I use it? When I want to use it as a full face wash, I will just take about two to three pumps on my hand, dry hand, dry face, the, um, divided between both hands, and then very gently, I'm just going to work it into my skin. Once it's all over my skin, I will do another dab, and then I will wash um, that eye makeup away, all of that mascara away, my lips, and then just wash it off with warm water. So that's the reason why I chose to, to show you the gel delicata today, because this um, can be used both ways, but also because it's so gentle to you, for your skin and will, it will help to rebalance your skin. Also today, as a part of a thank you for being here with us, the, um, there is a small gel delicato. It's a one ounce, so it's actually a pretty good uh, uh, deluxe size. This is a gift with purchase today. So when you head over to borghese.com and with purchase today, you'll be receiving gel delicato and also Splendore brightening makeup. I will talk about Splendore a little bit more at the end of the class. So borghese.com, this is your uh, gift with purchase today. That's gel delicato. I just showed it to you for you to try it or um, drop it in your purse. If you're on the go, you can keep it with you. Now, you also will be receiving a VIP discount code. And the VIP discount code today is 40% off with the code SCRUB40. Adrian has got already actually dropped it up in the chat box. So promo code SCRUB40. So if you see anything here today that I'm talking about and you would like to uh, try it, you will be receiving a special early access VIP discount 40% off on Borghese.com. Okay, so don't skip on cleansing. Now, do exfoliate. Exfoliation really is very important all year round, but in summertime, especially with all of that heat and humidity that is happening um, and it's affecting our skin. So there's a big misconception about exfoliation. I'm hearing some people say, well, exfoliation really is um, important for those with oily skin tone. Actually, that's not true. Our skin goes through the regeneration process 24-7. Doesn't matter the skin type, right? So those dead cells, as the new ones are um, being replenished, the dead cells sit on top of our skin. So because when they sit on our skin, what happens is, going to clog the pores so oilier skin actually may get oilier and it also may start to break out because there are uh, clogged pores for drier skin the skin will look even drier because all of that flaky skin is going to sit on the top so you are uh, both skin types and obviously combination skin type as well need to step up on the exfoliation year round really but especially very important in the summertime to keep that beautiful fresh healthy radiant skin revealed at all times and of course it also happens if you do get some sun exposure so you have that even uh, tan on your skin you remember spf which we definitely will talk about it in this class as well I chose for exfoliation the age defying um, uh, intensive age defying exfoliator, which is an exfoliator face scrub with added benefits, with added bonus. That's an exfoliator that has peptides. So peptides will stimulate collagen and elastin production for that supple uh, skin, that bouncier skin. There's also resveratrol. Resveratrol is that super antioxidant that is found in grapes, that it's found in that red wine. So I call this exfoliator a glass of red wine for my face. <laughs> um, and also you will see that the granules are super soft. Look at the, the color also, look how beautiful is this exfoliator. And the granules is basically crushed walnut powder. So it's much gentler on your skin. Um, so even more delicate skin type can use this exfoliator. So how do we use this exfoliator? Wet your hands 
which I am going to do that right now. I'm going to take a bit of that exfoliator. And I think I was working on this side of the skin. And I'm going to work this very gently into my skin. Remember, no pushing, no harsh rubbing. You may irritate your skin when you do that. So very gently, those beads will work for you. And again, those all of those nooks and crannies, you want to get in there too. So prevents that um, production of oils and then work it upwards on contact with water. And you will see that um, when you work this with this exfoliator at home, uh, here's a little harder because I don't have a faucet, um, just a little bowl with the water. But this exfoliator actually also foams up. Um, so it's great to either use it at your sink or actually you can also keep it in the shower. However, when you do this in the shower, make sure you do not stick your head under that running water because that is going to strip your skin from your natural moisture. So always just take your water into your hands and very gently wash it off. I am just going to use right now a wet face um, face wipe, remove exfoliator. Gretchen says, um, I exfoliate face and body, age defying for face and salt scrub on the body. Fantastic. It, um, as Adrian says, it really makes a difference. It just reveals this beautiful, fresh, younger looking skin, but also by removing all of that dead flaky skin, now your skincare, your serum, your moisturizer, your special treatment, now it actually will penetrate into your skin. So you get more benefits out of your treatment. Otherwise, when that flakiness is uh, staying on, to, on the top of your skin, your treatment will not penetrate, will have a harder time penetrating through it. So you're not getting the full benefits of, of your skincare. So um, age defined exfoliator for your face. Now, what do we do for the body? Uh, Gretchen said that she's using the salt scrub. I'm going to show you all today our Borghese um, Refrancante Sugar Body Polish. So this is a sugar-based um, ex exfoliator. Sugar is gentler on the skin. And so even more uh, sensitive, delicate skin types tend to do better with the sugar scrubs because sugar will melt on contact with water. And so this scrub is gentler on the skin, non-irritating on the skin. It also has some oils in there which are very nourishing. So borash seed oil that is actually known for soothing and calming of your skin coconut oil, which is very nourishing for your skin. And also notice that this scrub, it's um, oil-based, but not a drop of oil in this jar. So I can even put it upside down. You will not see any oils dripping out of this jar. Some other uh, oil-based exfoliators you will have the granules over here and then the oil sitting on the top and you're gonna have to mix it. With the, our sugar scrub, you don't have to do that. So with the sugar scrub, it's very easy. Um, again, you would want to just use that on a uh, wet skin, take a, a small amount, work it into your skin. Again, no need to push, pull, um, uh, be gentle with your skin so that there is no irritation. And it smells divine. It's like aromatherapy. Um, in, in your shower, in your bathtub when working with the sugar scrub. So again, bathtub much easier. You will just wash it right off uh, with a running water and you feel at the end how the skin is soft and um, how that oil locked in all of that moisture and hydration. So here is the difference. Can we see the difference? Because even on the video, you can definitely see which the hand was treated and which one was not. Brighter, there is no more of that redness because all of that dead cell, the dead skin has been removed, right? So the skin is brighter. Actually, it also feels smoother, definitely smoother 
and uh, appearance of fine lines and wrinkles is um, reduced comparing to this hand. That's amazing benefits of exfoliation. So I'm talking about um, this exfoliation, but the next don't is don't over exfoliate. Some people, especially in the summertime, especially those who are a little oilier, tend to actually go to, uh, every day with exfoliation. What that may cause is your skin is going to get confused and it starts to overcompensate for all of the loss of moisture and hydration, and it will produce more oils. So don't, and then the drier skin, obviously, it's going to get drier and may even get dehydrated even more. So instead of using exfoliator uh, twice, three times a week, I will recommend to use a purifying mask. And of course, with Borghese, there is no better mask than our fungal active, the advanced fungal active mud mask. This mask is um, bentonite clay based. Bentonite, it purifies the skin, detoxifies the skin, helps to modify as well. And um, bentonite, because it's clay, actually it also works as a gentle exfoliator. It will remove all of those dead cells from the skin. With the fungal active, you can use it as an all over treatment. You can also use it, let's say you only have a T-zone area. You can use it on the T-zone area. Drier skin. If your skin feels congested, and when I say congested and you are drier skin, you all probably already know what I'm, what I'm talking about. Congested because all of the dead cells and the flaky skin that's on the, sitting on the top. Don't be afraid to use that mask because that mask comes with added ingredients like almond oil, um, uh, avocado oil. So it's also very nourishing. So it will never dry your skin out. There are also two survivalist plants that will help to strengthen the top barrier of your skin. So also will prevent those environmental pollutants during the day. Lastly, I can talk about this mask, uh, you know, for days, but lastly, this mask, not only for your face, it can also be used anywhere on your body. So for example, hands, amazing. As the weather changes, sometimes I get those little bumps on, on my arm. I'll actually use fungal on my arms, removes it all off. It's just, um, 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 it's like a clogged uh, pores in, in there. Removes it all, re reveals this beautiful, smooth skin. Legs, ladies, now we are going to wear skirts, dresses, right? Uh, maybe even shorts. A fantastic, especially like my lower legs get always so dry. Um, so it, it will smooth out your skin on your legs, under your feet, or even full feet, revealing our our feet in the summer. Right, we all wear those open toes, flip flops, what have you. That mask, fungal active, will prepare your skin for that. Now, if you think that you are um, too dry. And you want something that's actually a little bit more uh, hydrating and something a little gentler, then I will recommend our fungal reparativo, which stands for reparative, fungal reparativo. And that mask, it's um, cowling clay based. So this is a gentler sister to the bentonite clay that it's in our active, that in our fungal active. Cowling clay will gently purify your skin, remove all of that flakiness, relieving that dryness into your skin. It's also very calming because it has that um, lavender uh, extract in here, um, allantoin, vitamin E acetate. So it's also calming and the vitamin E is that uh, super antioxidant that's also protecting your skin um, from environmental pollutants and sun damage. A lot of the products with SPF in them will have that vitamin E to protect your skin. So how do we use it? We want to use our masks, uh, apply it thick layer, like you're icing a cake. I think I put my little spatula in my pocket. <laughs> 
So apply the thick layer like your icing a cake or that banana peel thickness, okay? Second tip, two to five minutes only. Two to five minutes only. Third tip, never let this mask dry. When mud mask dries into your skin, there are a few things that will happen. You may over dry your skin, so you're now defeating the purpose of using the purifying mask, right? You actually might cause yourself a little irritation. Second thing is, because the mask dried into your skin, it really no longer deposits any of those wonderful ingredients I just mentioned. So it's kind of also, it's no longer working for you. And lastly, when it's dried, it's harder to remove it from your skin. So what do we do? We rub and scrub and that might cause an irritation to your skin. So let me show you. I have a little a funny spatula today, but it is working beautifully. Apply that mask. Basically, you should not see the skin through the mask, okay? So uh, here, for example, if I would be to apply it like this, this is a no-no. This is gonna dry in another minute or two, and I'm going to have a dry skin and it will be harder to remove. So apply it a thicker layer, like the one that's on the top. And make sure that the skin, you do not see skin through. So my cheeks get drier. Again, that is so funny applying these uh, masks on Zoom. But I did it. <laughs> and I'm going to apply that fungo active, that fungo active, because I have a T-zone. So my chin gets a little bit oilier and clogged and congested, especially in the summertime. So when I talked about multi-mask, I haven't used the word multi-masking, but when I talked about T-zone, you can do one, um, when I talked about maybe spot treatment, um, when you have drier skin, you can use a different mask. This is multi-masking. So I'm treating that skin that's drier with the mask that's for drier skin, right? For that skin that needs a little bit more soothing, a little bit more calming. And that skin that in my case, I only have a T-zone. So I'm going to use this mask on my T-zone. I'll actually also show you that mask on the hand as well, because it's an incredible result. You can, again, use it just on the hand. You can put it on the whole forearm. Depends really what you would like to see on your skin and how would you like to achieve that. Um, I'm just trying to see if there are any questions in between as this mask is um, working. Jennifer Box says, um, I just exfoliated in the shower. However, thanks, Alexandra, for informing me not to let the shower head to take it off and use our hands to help in the rinsing process. Yes, very important. Let's not strip our skin from that natural moisture. Gretchen says, I must use the sugar scrub. The one I use is Borghese. It smells wonderful. Thank you, Gretchen. That's wonderful to hear. That also is my favorite sugar scrub um, since we've launched it. This has, is not leaving my bathtub. Um, and yes, smells absolutely amazing. Um, great. If there are any questions also, I love your comments, but remember we, you can also ask questions. Um, remember also today, uh, scrub, 40, that is your discount code on borghese.com, scrub40. Um, and also you'll be receiving this wonderful two-piece gift, gift, which is the Gel Delicato Gentle Makeup Remover and the Splendore Brightening Makeup, which is that wonderful um, uh, liquid highlighter that I'll touch base on at the end. Okay, I think it has been two minutes by now. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to use that um, face wipe just to wipe off uh, that first uh, layer of the mask. Again, I actually do that also when I am at my sink or in my shower. I'll always work with a face wipe first, remove that thicker layer of the mask, and then at the end, I'm going to just wash my face. I like to wash face with a warm water, 
never hot. Hot water will also um, dry your skin. So again, drier skin, you're going to you make you may cause yourself dehydration, oil your skin, your skin is getting confused, and then overproduction of oils, right? So removing, look how easy it came off. And it came off this easy because I did not let that mask dry. If the mask is too dry, then it is going to be harder and you will be pulling and pushing and you may accidentally cause yourself an irritation, okay? Notice also, I'm kind of always pulling my, my skin upward in an upward motion. Um, I call this a skin, a, a face gym, right? There is a muscle underneath over there. So you always want to do this in an upward motion, uh, giving yourself a little bit more of that uh, lift into your skin, right? So let's take a look. Uh, a skin with makeup, I mean, not bad, right? Looks kind of okay. But look at this, zero makeup. And without makeup, the skin looks actually really good, right? So it has this really nice, um, nice uh, um, glow. When I touch it, it feels very smooth. And when I touch my other side, it, I do feel a little bit of roughness there because I am due for my weekly masking regimen, right? So more glowing. And also notice, even the lines and wrinkles are now less visible because those um, nourishing ingredients that are in the mask also, as an added bonus, will um, help with appearance of those fine lines and wrinkles. I'm going to remove my hand and let's see it pretty much works every single time um, that you, we can see the difference on the hands as well. So let's take a look if we can see that difference today as well. So just again, removing it with that um, uh, face, um, wet, wet, wet cloth, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my English. <laughs> um, something wet, right? <laughs> so, Removed it from the hand. That's, ooh, I think we definitely can see the difference. Look at the hand that's treated with even on camera, you visibly, you can see brighter, clearer lines and wrinkles uh, reduce. Um, warm washcloth or sponge, Adrian is telling me. Yes, Adrian, thank you. <laughs> so, immediate instant gratification two minutes that's all i you can you need to have this mask on two to five minutes max always work with the timer that's my biggest tip when working with the fungal mat masks because we forget right we get busy we go make a tea make a coffee have a quick chat on the phone put on the timer on your phone, put it on for two or two or three minutes or four minutes, five minutes, but no longer than five minutes. So you don't forget uh, to uh, remove that mask. Okay. Okay. So after we prepare our skin, ooh, alternate, right? So alternate once a week, your um, physics school leader. So let's say do that on a school night, maybe like a Wednesday night, right? Because it's quicker, faster, right? Keep it in the shower and do one of your fungal mat masks on a weekend. I have my sun, Sunday, fungal Sundays. That's when I schedule my masking, right? So alternate those two, continually uh, keeping your skin fresh, purified and ready for those hot, steamy summer days. Speaking of hot, steamy summer days and the sun, what is the next do? The next do is keep your complexion clear because with the uh, sun, the concern of uh, hyperpigmentation is definitely something that comes up for a lot of us, right? So hyperpigmentation, dark spots, um, age spots on the skin. So how do we treat that or how do we prevent that? My um, my recommendation is the Borghese Power C Firming and Brightening of, uh, Capsules. So these capsules are pre-measured. Each capsule, it's your one treatment. So one capsule 
it is measured that it's enough for an entire face and here is one treatment for you. So what's so fantastic about those vitamin C capsules? Well, this there is 20% vitamin C, raspberry leaf extract, and vitamin E. All three of those powerful ingredients are helping with uh, dark spots and discoloration. We did a panel study of 30 panelists that used our capsules for four weeks and then for eight weeks. So what they have reported, 90% of those panelists reported that after eight weeks, the dark spot, and I'm gonna read that off so I don't uh, mix up exactly uh, which one was which. Um, the surface, the dark spot surface reduction. So 90% saw that, that surface, that size, that it went from this to smaller. And then 100% of those panelists saw the difference in the color intensity. So how dark was that dark spot? They saw a reduction both after four weeks and after eight weeks um, of using those capsules. So those little capsules truly are little, little dose of bright for our skin. So brightening that skin, adding again that radius to the skin and addressing any existing sunspots, but also again, vitamin C, vitamin E, also is um, protecting your skin from that sun damage. How do we use it? Very simple. We can twist off that top of the capsule. Here is the serum and it is a serum. Okay, so when it comes to serums, we always want to use that on the skin first before your moisturizer. Notice I am only applying half of that capsule because I'm not putting it all over my face. I'm only putting it on half of my face. Very simple, uh, easy application. Just work it into your skin very gently and let that vitamin C work for you. Um, also more delicate skin type sometimes. And again, I do have, because I have a little bit of that rosacea, many of you already heard me talk about that before. So that type of skin is a little bit more delicate. I have a little more sensitive skin and vitamin C products sometimes may actually irritate a little bit, but I find that with these capsules that they're, it, that they do not cause irritation to my skin. So my sensitive skin is able to use those capsules. The capsules need to be used at night only, at night only, okay? This is your nighttime treatment. Also, it is recommended that you use the capsules uh, with, in the morning, follow with a moisturizer cream with SPF because the sun will then, uh, the oxidization breaks down the vitamin C. So that's why it's recommended and that's what it brings me to the next do. Do apply a moisturizer with an SPF. Whether you are going to the beach or you're going to an office or to lunch with your friend, SPF is an essential step uh, every day and especially in the summertime because it will protect your skin from that environmental damage, the pollution, the sun, and that's what's causing oxidization. That's what's causing those little spots to appear on the skin. Um, imagine an apple, if I had an apple, cut it in half and then leave one out. And then on the other one, I'll put a little bit of lemon juice, which is that vitamin C, right? And leave both of them out. What will happen to the apple that has nothing on, on it? You already know, right? You've seen that happen. That apple is going to start to brown and pretty quickly, right? And the one with the lemon on it, it stays clearer, clearer, clearer. <laughs> Can't speak tonight. <laughs> Longer, right? So that's what happens to our skin. Now, don't worry. Our skin is not an apple. You will not see those changes that fast. But over time, if we don't protect our skin, 
that it's going to look like that apple that does not have any protection on it. So for SPF, Dura de Vida, Protetivo, um, SPF 15, that is that broad spectrum UVA and UVB rays that this moisturizer is um, uh, protecting our skin from. Um, also, it's lightweight. And do opt, that's another uh, do, do opt for a lighter textures moisturizers so that they won't clog your pores, right? So um, this also is uh, men's favorite because it's in the pump, uh, also because it is lightweight and also because it has that SPF. Men also, I didn't mention it, but really love using our fungal active because of that deep purification to their skin. So Pure De Vida Protetivo SPF 15, um, that is your daytime SPF um, uh, during the summertime. Now for the nighttime, I also recommend to adjust your moisturizer. Unless you're very dry, unless you are super dehydrated, there is no need for those heavy type moisturizers. So here we have um, Crema Restorativo 24, which feels, it's a, it's a moisturizing cream, but it really feels like a gel, gel cream. And I'll show you, look at that, how quickly it gets um, absorbed into your skin. So again, this is a lightweight, lightweight moisturizer, um, Crema Restorativo 24, uh, quickly absorbs into your skin. It doesn't weigh your skin down and it that won't clog your pores. And do moisturize at nighttime. Can't stress it enough. Some people think, you know, summer's already hot. I don't need anything on your skin. Our skin goes through the damage during the day, right? That sun, right? All of that sebum production, which actually sebum production is not a bad thing. Sebum actually was protecting our skin from the environmental damage. It's overproduction. It's too much of that, that that's when it's starting to become a concern on the skin. So summertime, it, this might happen, right? So our skin goes through the damage during the day. It's only at nighttime, when that moisturize, when, when any type of skincare, I want to backtrack it. It's only at nighttime when the skin regenerates itself. That's the time when we sleep, the skin finally has the chance to repair itself. So do use your treatments at nighttime on that cleansed skin. That's why also so important to wash your face at night. Do use that treatment so that the skin can have the chance to regenerate and the creams will help to repair. They'll also help to strengthen the top barrier of your skin, protecting your skin during the day. This cream also has that bionymph peptide. I already mentioned before with the peptides, that's what is speeding up that collagen elastin production for more of that bouncier skin and also has that watermelon fruit extract Again, come summer, we all want a little bit more of that refreshing watermelon, right? But the extract of that fruit, and not only adds hydration, but it also promotes cell regeneration. So again, it regenerates your skin at nighttime. And again, as you saw it, super lightweight, already absorbed into my skin. You can't see anything on that skin. For body, remember, let's not forget about our bodies, especially also summertime, um, post sun, for example, post sun exposure, very important to hydrate our skin. Tonal body cream, again, the light is fitting in a little bit uh, funny way, but it is very rich. Look at the richness of this moisturizer, right? So you don't need a lot, a small, uh, amount goes really a long way. So let me put that on that skin on that I already treated so we can see a full um, difference now. So look at that skin, how glowing it is, right? So tono stands for tone. So using our moisturizing the body cream on a regular basis, it's actually going to improve your skin tone and texture. It does that with that fennel extract 
which not only is for our summer salads, it turned out, but fennel extract also has this wonderful ability and it's known for improving that skin tone and texture as well. Um, there's also witch hazel that's very calming and soothing to our skin. So this is, um, and um, as also Adrian wrote in here, um, there are uh, aromatherapeutic botanicals in the tone as well. So again, smells like that aromatherapy, just like our sugar body scrub. So here are all, all our do's and don'ts for the summertime. One more thing I'm going to add is don't leave a uh, burnt skin um, untreated. So if you already, hopefully not, right? We already know how to protect our skins in the summertime. But if you already got some sunburn, I recommend putting a little bit of that cooling compress on the skin and then continually every day use a product that will contain like aloe vera, but also lavender, vitamin E. And we had some products in here, right? Like our Fango Reparativo has lavender and vitamin E in that um, uh, cream. The Cura de Vida also has vitamin E, um, which is wonderful to use uh, on that uh, sunburned skin. Uh, using those richer products and moisturizers will calm that skin and also will help to prevent uh, peeling. Gretchen says, I love how thick and creamy Tono is. It feels so luxurious, right? That's exactly how I feel about Tono body cream. Very luxurious, very luscious on the skin. My beauty hack also always is with the, the uh, luscious creams like that. Use it right after you get out of the shower on a slightly uh, wet skin. It will get absorbed a little bit deeper and then that's when it really locks in all of that moisture and hydration. Again, post sun exposure is one of the best moisturizers on the skin and also just using it um, on a daily basis in between. Um, Gretchen says, yes, not greasy at all. Exactly, thank you Gretchen for that. Um, Again, scrub 40, that's your 40% off on borghese.com, scrub 40. There's also that wonderful gift with purchase. I promise to show you how to work that Splendore brightening makeup. So this is a, um, a, I call it liquid highlighter. You can use it many, many ways. You can use it, dab it just a very small amount and use that as a highlighter over your makeup, your tinted moisturizer. So on that high bone right in here, and look at that beautiful um, glow on the skin, especially amazing for those maybe who have a little drier skin, uh, anything that is creamy, um, it will not dry your skin. You can also use it into your moisturizing cream, right? So you can take a bit of that um, daily moisturizer, Again, take a small drop. You don't need a lot. You see how little bit? Um, mix it with that uh, face moisturizer. And what you just created basically, oh, it's that sky. What you created basically, it's almost like your own BB cream. So it will just very lightly even out that skin tone, brings that gorgeous, beautiful glow to the skin without wearing a full face of foundation or full face of makeup. You can also use it dab where sun naturally hits our skin. So that nose, a bit on the forehead. You can also use it under the brow bone. So look at that. We are highlighting, we are highlighting everything and anything on our skin. If you are wearing something that's an open decollete, really nice also on those um, collar bones. You can just highlight those color bones. It looks absolutely beautiful with that summer dress. So that's how you use um, our Splendora Brightening Makeup. And uh, you'll be also receiving the Gel Delicato Makeup Remover. We also offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, beauty consultations. So maybe you are not sure if what you have right now in your cosmetic bag, if those are the right products for you, for that summer time. Uh, email us at appointments, um, appointments at borghesemail.com, appointments at borghesemail.com. That email is on your registration confirmation 
also on that uh, reminder emails, so you can grab it from there as well. Uh, if you email that you are interested in one-on-one -on -one consultation, we will send you a link uh, to a calendar. You can book yourself into that um, calendar. Literally, you can bring your entire cosmetic back with you. We will go through each product and we'll discuss your skin, we'll discuss your skincare concern, and we will make sure that um, we uh, adjust your skincare regimen so you are well prepared for that summertime. If any more questions come up after this class, same thing, feel free, email us appointments at borghesemail.com and I will be happy to answer. So borghese.com it is uh, when you are receiving your gifts of purchase today, uh, as well as 40% off. And the 40% off uh, is your early VIP access to our Memorial Day weekend sale. And that uh, code is going to run until May 23. If there is no more questions, we wanted to thank you so much for being here with us. Hope that you enjoyed our masterclass. It's always a pleasure um, to be here with you. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy days to be here with us. Hopefully that you enjoyed all the information that you are learning. And um, we will see, see you next month. There will be another class on a different topic. So hope to see you there. Jennifer, thank you. Uh, also, Jennifer says, thank you for another wonderful class. Thank you so, so much. I know we ran over time a little bit, but I'm so happy that you are still here with us. I appreciate your time very much. And I hope that this was informative. Thank you again and um, have a wonderful rest of your night and see you all next month. Good night.